Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, you know, you know. Right, you know what time it is don't you? It's International Helmets of the Month. That means that all your votes have all been cast and they've all been added up and we're now going to do a top 30 countdown from 30 down to number 1. So, here goes. In at number 30, Tyson Fury. Now fans are saying that they're sick to death of seeing him do videos every single day. The man's not got a fight booked. But every single day we're seeing something on social media from him. Uh, and people start to say it's a bit of an overkill. Considering we don't see his rival Joshua on social media every day. So, Tyson in at number 30. Helmet of the month, the international helmets. <laughs> right, in at number 29. It's the rat himself, the little gerbil, Sonny Edwards. How are you doing, Sonny? Bill Dickie Bird tells me that you've bought 10,000 subscribers on Twitter. Now that is international helmet behaviour, Sonny. So, alright, so Sonny Edwards, the gerbil. Number 29. In at number 28, it's the Bob Father, Bob Arum, pushing 90 year old. He just won't go away, will he? Bob Arum is overkilling fights. He's a master at it. He did it with Mayweather, Shane Mosley. He did it with Oscar De La Hoya, with some fights he had. We did it with, when he had Mayweather with all the fights. And he's going to do it with Tyson Fury, Joshua. They're going to say they want it. They're going to keep them apart and vice versa. That's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. So Bob Arum, number 28. In at number 27, it's Bricktop, Frank Warren. Frank. What you're serving up lately is below, sub, it's substandard. It's below the standards that we want to see. The opponent average for your second to last show were 363. And the one at the weekend were 295. So, how are they competitive fights? How, when you've got guys ranked four and 500 fighting guys that are just going to knock them over? How? I, I, I don't get it, so... You're going to have to up your game, Frank, but I will give you credit for getting in touch with Eddie Earn and wanting to work with him, but... Two shows you've put on, six fights on each, six nil home, home fighters on the other one, and the one the other day, six home fighters won not competitive fights them not competitive you should be embarrassed frank but it is what it is in at number 26 it's the white flex wheeler dominic ingle how are you doing dominic hmm. you've had loads of votes because of that song you brought out you're 51 52 year old and you've wrote a song called looking for fast car eddie it's helmet behaviour. It's international helmet behaviour, Dominic. So, give your head a shake, will you? Alright, give it a big shake. In at number 25, it's baby Ben Davidson. How are you doing, Ben? Hope you're well. You're in international helmets, Ben. According to fans in emails and votes, you've been voted in because you're walking about thinking you're some big shot trainer slinking in with world champions like Billy Joe and Tyson and that what happens when you do things like that you get found out there's no shortcuts to success Ben I, I don't know you personally but you've got to learn your craft you can't just so for example my daughter's eight but if you're 18 and I give her keys to a Ferrari she's gonna crash it isn't she you were giving keys to a, a Lamborghini with Tyson Fury and he got dropped twice didn't he and he got a bad cut against Wallin. What happened? What happened there? You ended up losing him, didn't you? And I think that's what'll happen. That's what happens when you've got world champions. Who knows? Maybe Billy Joe's happy with you. But I think that a, a good world champion boxer worth his salt will see through an inexperienced kid. You need to learn your trade, Ben. And another thing why you're getting votes, you, you were tweeting Shannon Courtney, weren't you? Well, that's disrespectful. She's got a trainer. She's just been dropped in a fight heavily and, and lost on points and devastated. And you're tweeting. I, I think that's wrong. I think you need to 
go get your own fighters and start up with kids that are turning pro and stuff like that and prove yourself that's my opinion but ben davison international helmet of the month 25 24 oscar de la hoya the billionaire himself oscar why are you coming back to fight to fight and you're pushing 48 you've had your day you've been retired donkey's years you need to sit behind your chair at golden boy promotions and be a promoter because you'll just get hurt coming back at that age unless you're going to fight somebody your own age but i don't know what we're going to see de la hoya versus mosley oh my god who'd pay for that i think it's wrong i think it's disrespectful to all fighters that are coming through at the moment and I think you've had your day and you should stay out of the way and be a promoter. So Oscar De La Hoya, International Helmet of the Month, number 24. In at number 23, it's Dean White, a.k.a. Mr. Fake Name, Mr. Saves People's Lives on Aeroplanes, 35,000 feet. It's, look, Dean, when you're going to come out and show us your birth certificate, that's all we want. Show us your birth certificate because you've had votes again. But you went missing for about a week, didn't you, after Dillian's loss? Why is that? And then you piped up with Colwell on some Mickey Mouse channel. Look, the vo listen, mate, you're a vulture, all right? Nobody's going to tell you to your face because you're a big lump. You're a vulture. People like you are what's wrong with boxing. So, Dean White, you're in at number 23. In at number 22, Victor Laughlin. Victor Laughlin, of the month, number 22. Your scorecards are that bad now, the bordering on corruption or incompetence, and you should be sin binned or took out of the game. I'm calling for border control after judges and referees have had a bad performance to suspend you for at least 90 days or even a month. Suspend you for a month, but do summer boxing border control because it's the same old people making the same mistakes. We're going round in circles. If this were football, it wouldn't happen. So Victor Laughlin, number 22, international, helmet of the month. Barry Hearn, in at number 21, for a simple reason, you still haven't come out and explained why you're in Jeffrey Epstein's book. Nobody dare say anything to you in media. I'm saying it. I'm not accusing you of anything. I want to know why you're in his book. Why don't you come out and say, well, I'm in Jeffrey Epstein's book because we were spending millions of pounds in investments and hedge funds and all that kind of carry on. But the silence is deafening. So, Baza, come on. I'll be saying you're wrong, and you're in Jeffrey Epstein's book, the biggest scandal of the century so far. And you've not come out and explained yourself. Other people have, but you haven't. So, personally, I want to know. I want to know if somebody that I respect is wrong, and I want to know, especially when they're, tie when they're tied in with something like this, and it's only going to get worse from what I've heard. So, come on, Baza. You say you're transparent, well be transparent about this. We can't shut your son up on any topic surrounding you lot, but mention this and the battering hatches up, just like they did when I was mentioning stub hub. Or pay-per-view increases. Alright, so come on, the silence is deafening. Alright, Baza. In at number 20, it's AJ! Everybody's favourite weightlifter, the big dosser himself, Anthony Joshua. The reason you've had votes this month, according to boxing fans, Anthony, is because we all know you're filling your nappy as regards fighting Tyson Fury. You're saying you want the fight, blah de blah, but then in next breath, your promoter's coming out and speaking for you and putting obstacles in way. So, Anthony Joshua, International Helmet of the Month. Number 20 in the rankings this month on Porky's Corner. In at number 19, it's Darren Barker, a.k.a. the Matchroom Company Man, a.k.a. one of the biggest rimmers I've ever seen in boxing. One of the biggest. The rimming and the bias from this man is out of control. It should be ranked higher than that. So Darren Barker, International Helmet of the Month, you helmet. In at number 18, it's Dillian White and he should be number one. Three rounds saying that he got knocked out cold by a lucky punch. So Alexander Povetkin must have been throwing punch then at somebody in crowd then from the ring. Because if he weren't throwing the punch at you, who were he throwing it at? If it's a lucky punch, he can't have thrown it at you, who were he throwing it at? 
He must have been throwing it at uh, uh, referees stood behind him. I don't know. Lucky punch. And Knox has written one punch. No one will rave about it. Why the Knox? Some bummer, some old man loses a teaser at one punch, everyone raise a bite. Ortiz is old, he's also an old man as well, it's like... Povetkin. Coward. Ortiz. Old man. Ortiz. Old man. Ortiz. Old man. A few moments later... I've been trying to fight Luis Ortiz for years. Talk about the WBC, but they ordered him to fight to fight what he called an old man in Luis Ortiz. But who he who is he fighting next? It's Povetkin for him next. And how old is Povetkin? He's definitely his thirties. He's definitely his thirties. He's definitely his thirties. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's forty. He's forty something. He's about forty. Oh my God. Dylan White in at number 18. You would have had more votes, but because you fight when it end that month, because you there were a big surge of votes for you this week, so you would have been higher. So Dylan White, International Helmet of the Month, number 18. In at number 17, it's the monitor lizard himself, Gareth A. Davis. Have you rinsed your mouth out with TCP, Gareth? Have you? If you're struggling getting some, because I know it's expensive and we're in tough times. Use sea salt and hot water and do it that way. That's what poor folks do. But the rimming from you is embarrassing. You should be number one every month. All right, so Gareth A. Davis, International Helmet of the Month for August. And number 17 on Porky's Corner. In at number 16, it's Anna Woolhouse for using your own narratives on Sky to narrate the story. Why don't you ever tell it straight? Why are you always narrating this script so that matchroom fighters get hyped up and the opponents are just treated like pieces of meat? It's embarrassing. The thing is, you know what you're doing because you do know a bit about boxing, but you know what you're doing and don't you feel shown up by it, Anna? I don't know, but you've been voted international element of the month, number 16 on Porky's Corner. You should be ashamed. In at number 15, hmm, he's always there, isn't he? The disappearing man himself, Anthony Bellew. Mr. Vacant Belt. Man with two world title wins over Ilunga Makabu and Blowjob Flores. That's his two title wins. Oh my god, everybody would be thinking we we're talking about an all time great here. Anthony Bellew tweeted this week that. Dylan White's been mandatory for a thousand days. Uh uh, not true. A thousand days ago, Dylan White was ranked number three. He also tweeted that Deontay Wilder for the last 800 days has fought cab drivers. Uh uh, I went back 1500 days and he fought the cream of the cream, the guys nobody wanted to, to fight. Fury twice, Ortez twice, Brazil, Washington, Doofus. I mean, come on. Stavern twice as well. He's fought Stavern twice, former champion, and he once Stavern ranked number one when he fought him in rematch. So point I want to make is that hmm, Wilder's CV's all right, isn't it? It's a bit better than a few other people's, but we can't have that, can we? So Tony Bell, you, you've had to be pulled up on your lies. All right, Tony. So disappear. You liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>